This is FFPÖ, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Welcome back to a new episode of FFP. My name is Paul and this is the 48th episode recorded on July 8th, 2017. And I have a newcomer for Vienna as a co-host with me, fresh off the boat. Well, not the boat, but whatever it is. Sia. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sia. And uh, tonight hi, Sia. I have the honor of... Hi. hi. Thank you. Hi, thank Paul. you for being here. Yeah, thank you very much. I yeah. have the honor of being here. As, yeah. as Paul's guest, <laughs> watched a pretty cool movie. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, that was, yeah, that was a, a, a joint effort because yes. I have so many movies to choose from. Yeah, and we we whittled it down to a real gem. I think I can't believe that you have it on your uh, hard drive. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I I rip all the DVDs that I buy. Uh -huh, yeah, that's uh -huh. just more convenient. So you buy them? Yeah, yeah. Wow. I, I, yeah. All right. I well, spend, that's awesome. Yeah, like I want to give back, you know. So, uh, uh, okay, <laughs> sure, sure. I, 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 the thing is that you I have to learn the Austrian mentality. Yeah, 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 for sure. I you come only from country. steal yeah, yeah, when yeah. you can't get it legally. <laughs> exactly. If you can get it, yeah, yeah. I come uh, come from a country that uh, the whole concept of copyright <laughs> is very like because even the government doesn't really do anything about it. Like yeah. you know, when I when I go back to Iran, one of the first things that I buy is uh, this King CD that has all the softwares that you could ever get and it's hacked and it's like <laughs> a, it has like a government standard sort of yeah, like, yeah. You and know, then and then you don't bring it back to the uh, to Austria because no, that would be illegal yes you know? I have never brought it back to Austria and I have never used any legal softwares yes anywhere in the world. as a matter of fact that was probably just a dream yeah i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about <laughs> yeah like, just like this movie because yes. we watched ministry of fear a yes. 1944 uh fritz lang movie made in the u.s uh, yes uh starring wait um i'm gonna pull up the information now all right, this yeah. is a professional podcast after yeah, all yeah, for sure yeah um ray milland as uh, Stephen neal yeah Majorie Reynolds als Carla Hilfe. <laughs> Now, because they always messed up her last name in, in I didn't know that Hilfe, Hilfe means help. Well, so, so that, her, that, her that character's means... name is Carla Help. Carla Help. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so that's probably like they, the, 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 the people who are producing, they probably know like yeah. what 50 german words <laughs> yeah, and that's <laughs> and one like, of them <laughs> hilfe, hilfe. let's just call it and that they're like let's just choose one of these words <laughs> <laughs> because that's not a last name right In, as a german speaking i have person. never have met a ever... hilfe have you ever met somebody called hilfe with no, no, last name yeah. no so yeah well, that's 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 well, ridiculous that's I mean, so it's not it's not a common. Stiepenhofer thing. would be, would have been yeah. probably better, and that's a made up name that I just <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know that it right. sounds more Austrian. It at does. Least. I would have I would have said they're both Austrian. So. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's Ministry of Fear, uh, a yeah. dark uh, noir film. Yeah, um, it is. I guess a spy movie. A bit of a spy movie for yeah. sure, but there was this like for the of... longest time we thought it was like a like a like a M Night Shyamalan yeah mindfuck movie. I, I think the the most like over uh, uh, um, overpowering genre that you could feel in the movie would be mystery. Yeah, yes, that was yes. like that's that's like yeah, the biggest thing, right? Because he tried to solve the mystery and the viewer as well. Yeah, like exactly. for the longest time, we, we yeah. didn't know what what the fuck was going on. Yeah, but I think <laughs> that was one of the things that back then people liked a lot. Yeah. <laughs> back in the back in the forties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you, you know. didn't could couldn't Google the plot. Exactly. <laughs> you, you know, like, I, had to find out by by yourself. Yeah, I, you know, it, it was crazy. One of the things that I noticed about the movie was that how much of it is um realize realization of a story yeah right, right yeah. like you can read a story and you would notice all the details that you saw in this movie yeah 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 like yeah. you know they totally it yeah. is based on a novel yeah so it makes sense yeah yeah, yeah exactly yeah. like all the there weren't too many details but all the details were symbolic yeah and made sense yeah they made sense and yeah. you could connect them easily yeah and it was 
I suppose it's the beginning of the evolution of the modern cinema. Cinema. Yeah, yeah. it's 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 very visceral in, yeah, in the yeah, sense yeah. in that sense that it really stimulates the brain and keeps you guessing and like we. I made up at least 12 different theories yes. <laughs> about the cake yeah. alone. Yeah. <laughs> so let's move on to our first topic in this yes, case. And that's... Plot. Plot. Yeah. I mean, I already slid into that a by talking bit. about like... In the beginning, the plot, in my opinion, was sort of busy. Yeah. Like there were so many uh, pieces of information falling down and you yeah. had to like, you know... Just it was like, like a puzzle that they like scrambled and yeah. put in front of you and they're like what the yeah. fuck is going on here and i guess that's like one of the basic methods of engagement you yeah know, back in the day if they wanted people to like you know get engaged and yeah. like follow the story they would say oh look at this oh look at that but now here <laughs> you have a fortune teller oh gunshots yeah. oh cake like you know, so you're like oh what the fuck is going on you know Blind so, guy yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we follow we follow the the story of Stephen Neal, yeah, uh, an American, apparently, yeah. who has been in an uh, in an asylum for two years, yeah, for two years, yeah. and uh, the story picks up at the moment of his release, yeah, at the moment of his release, yeah, and he is released and he walks into this. Um, he's Jubilee, in London, right? Jubilee? No, it's outskirts of London. Outskirts of London. Yeah. He walks into this. Uh, what, what, what was the word you used? For Jubilee. It? Jubilee. Yeah. Some British bullshit thing, carnival thing. Yeah, some sort of a carnival. Yeah. It was a charity thing. Yeah. He walks in there and he stumbles upon a bunch of events. That, yeah. That that, that 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 start happening. Uh, and that, that uh, like okay, let let's be honest. He had amazing luck or like bad luck in this case because all the things that had to go right to kick off the story yeah quite unreasonable as you said earlier <laughs> when you were watching the movie he had plot vision yeah he had definitely <laughs> had plot vision he's like yeah, i have to get like, involved with yeah. this <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 so there's a cake measuring contest we're not gonna go through the whole plot we're yeah, gonna be yeah, stuck yeah. here in that segment for an hour so but like because you know, it's super dense yeah, yeah it definitely is and uh, it's like layer after layer of yeah. of, of these like some, some a very sort of delicious onion yeah <laughs> <laughs> cake with real eggs yeah <laughs> that was <laughs> the cake was actually mentioned to have real eggs yeah that was supposed to indicate something special about the egg mm-hmm. you no know? it was uh yeah, because I, in the moment, I, I, without even noticing, I said, what about fake, fake eggs? eggs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I, I, was, I was really, <laughs> really put off by that. Like, who yeah. is using yeah. fake eggs? Hey, man, yeah. it, as in the time, as you said yourself, during the, the time of war, yeah. yeah, there was no... Like, I remember my mom, like, I, I was born one year after the war between Iran and Iraq right. ended. And my mom Good said, timing. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> My mom said we didn't have diapers. Wow. You okay. Know, so she had to not like, even cloth. cloth she diaper. had she had to make like a diaper of her own. Like, oh you know, wow. She, she had like she, she make to, the diaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She was like the diapers were a thing of the future uh, after you were born. Wow. <laughs> like, yeah. So real eggs is like yeah. holy real food. eggs. The diaper on, is the diaper of the second yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, exactly. well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, he he wins the cake. Yeah, he wins the cake somehow, and he moves on to uh, this, I would say, second episode of the mystical events. Yeah, that's the train events. ride. Yeah, the train ride is with this blind guy yeah. who turns out not to be blind. So, but so, an agent. Yeah, like a mini antagonist, yeah. you know, along the way. Yeah, it's a mini boss he battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then, no, he doesn't defeat it. The Germans actually kill him. Well, of course, of course. <laughs> I think a lot... Well, I think the protagonist of the story is, is very lucky all along the story. Oh, like, yeah, you yeah. Know, no, so, he has. <laughs> he has immense luck. Yeah, yeah. He's the American yeah. which is like stumbling yeah. through this whole thing. Like, what the fuck is happening? A bit of an Alice in Wonderland sort of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, because uh, well, yeah. I guess he he was probably on a lot of drugs in the asylum. Yeah, that's probably all, that could also be the case. And Look, then he Britain couldn't afford to like <laughs> actually take care of them, so like just like take them off in and be knocked out for twelve hours. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of the things that I really enjoyed um, all throughout the story, yeah, was that. Everybody smoked, apparently. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, like, the stress alone of all the constant yeah. air raids. Do you, do you remember after the guy... What happened after the blind guy? 
After the he blind went. guy, he oh shit! Uh, it was he. He went oh, to he, this um, pi try, pi trying to find out what's happened, what yeah. the rest of the mystery, right? Yeah. Why are and, they trying to kill him over yeah. a cake? Yeah, exactly, exactly. And as he sat down, the guy just offered him a cigarette, and he lit yeah. it. There was there was no question. Hey, yeah. do you smoke? No. Oh, yeah, just yeah, sit yeah. down. Yeah. Take a chair. Take a cigarette. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> That's how people. And that, and that happens like. It, there's there's many cigarette references like the one time yeah. where they walk into the room uh-huh. and they're like there are not even cigarettes here yeah is it like no one lives here there's no sign of any cigarettes yeah that's any- the first <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> that's the first thing she talks about there are no cigarettes here there's no way anyone lives here <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh my god yeah so, and those that don't smoke a cigarette smoke either cigars or yeah. pipe or our children, <laughs> above, yeah, well, under the age of eight. I'd say. But dude, those children were far away in that one shot. They might have smoked. They might, yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking, man. That's yeah. what I'm thinking. Back in the day, there was no like, no one knew what a lung is. You know? <laughs> no, they <laughs> knew what alone. a lung is, but yeah, but let, I'm talking like what a cigarette does to your lung, and like you know, it the knowledge it in a of healthy anatomy. layer of tar to yeah. protect it from outside influences. <laughs> That's what it's supposed to do. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he 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 wants to find more, uh, find out more information about the cake yeah. conspiracy. Yeah. Cake conspiracy. Cake conspiracy. <laughs> all right, yeah. Paul. Yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. <laughs> cake conspiracy. Yes. Yeah, so Look, it's... Reggie would have been all over me at this point. Yeah, Reggie hates my puns. Reggie is a bit. Uh, <laughs> Dramatic. <laughs> Don't worry about him. I love him, man. Yeah, he's, I love he's him the best. Too. I love him too. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, he gets he gets high pitched sometimes. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. And then there's these frantic laughs that come after. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that he bends, he bends, and he laughs. <laughs> Yeah, totally. I don't. I, I I should make a gif out of that. Film yeah. it at some point and then just give it. You should make a gif out of many of those. Oh, like you know, yeah. you should keep filming him. Yeah, and like a loop. Cut out. Yeah, or a best cut off. Out best of his bending laughs and just make a loop out of it. Like five, oh. six bending laughs of uh-huh. Reggie, and then just like make it. That makes sense. Yeah. 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 All right, back to the plot. Back to the plot. All right, so so. <laughs> Uh, after after that, it it just gets more and more complicated. I yeah. I, I think you know they, they're trying until to, like, like the middle of the movie middle. where we find out that he's not an insane person. Yeah, because not we ins- we actually don't know if he's a bad person or not. I thought it was like something that uh, Shutter Island could have been inspired by. Yeah, right. I'm pretty sure this is not the only movie that at some point someone is in asylum. And it turns out that something else is going on. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. The, the asylum aspect. Yeah, you know, yeah. The that they bring point. that back. Yeah, they yeah. bring that. So that's. Mm, I'm not saying Sherilyn was based on this movie, but it's it's it just shows you how long ago this like technique of like how interested people yeah. are in in asylums and someone <laughs> crazy, you know, like yeah, because uh, it's it's something that can't be an irrational mind can't really be yeah. fully understood by a rational mind and that exactly. makes it intriguing exactly. in exactly so let's see what's going on why is this person acting the we're doing yeah uh, why yeah. is he thinking that he's being followed all the time yeah. maybe that one blind guy was just yeah. crazy and had a gun for some reason yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and before the asylum we we uh, maybe we forgot to mention one of the things that happened in the movie was that um uh, sort of thing that ha- seemed to be supernatural in oh yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. It had a very eerie feeling of yeah, yeah, yeah. something is not right here. Yeah, and maybe that's just our young minds because we had M Night Shyamalan movies and all that that yeah. had like those yeah. crazy twists. Yeah, and yeah, we are yeah. spoiled by that. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. We're we- just and they just wanted to convey that yes it is weird but he's also just out of an asylum for two years that's yeah. just normal human behavior yeah, exactly. to be a bit weirded out by people yeah this was very realistic in those terms it wasn't yeah. like leaving you to think oh this is just magic yeah <laughs> what, what was that voice what was that like yeah what was that bang you know yeah no it was it had an element of reality to it and i enjoyed that also at the part that he was talking about the euthanasia as you said <laughs> like that's something that's something that would have been taboo at the time, right? Yes. For you to actually be okay with somebody dying, with somebody dying, and not assisting, yeah, yeah, not assisting. That that's something big, yeah. 
at the time. That's progressive. That's still very big today in yeah, most of countries. Course. Of course, yeah. of course. And imagine back then, it's like divorce. Yeah. And right now, <laughs> of course, a lot of people are not okay with divorce, but many people are. But back then, like yeah, in yeah. the 40s, yes. divorce? No, that Get was the fuck a, huge, uh, yeah. a huge thing. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So, so it's the same. I think this was progressive in many aspects. Maybe it's oh, because yeah. it was done by someone who came from Europe. Yeah. You Fritz know. Lang definitely came from Europe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but Europe, I think at the time was sort of. Would you say it was more progressive in these uh, moral aspects? I don't know. In the 1920s, like pushing in, the in the 19, it's very hard to pin down because the, like for example, the British t- uh, um, 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 castrated, chemically castrated, uh, uh-huh. gay people till I think this. 50s mid 50s late yeah. 50s or something crazy like that yeah and then you have you have france who, who did similar things and and yeah that it's just you know it's yeah. very hard to it's pin very down. hard to call that progressive yeah right? and also calling europe europe is was way more fragmented as as as, as europe today like yeah the contrast British. between the cultures was just yeah the fucking British, British. <laughs> fucking dingbats. Why are you do? Why are you shooting yourself in the foot like that? That's just that's oh, just man. unnecessary. Yeah, no, that's that's like we should just make Britain an insane asylum for us uh, for Europe. And hey, just <laughs> they 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 brought a lot of wealth to Europe. So yeah, yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> on totally legal ways. Yeah, yeah. The legal schmeagle. Yeah. It have was you ever the been nineteen hundred? Have you ever been to the British Museum? <laughs> No, I have not. I've never been to an English-speaking country. Okay, so when I was in London uh-huh. in the British Museum, like an eighth, like not an eighth, uh, yeah, an eighth was like, this is British history stuff, and yeah. the rest is like stuff we stole from our colonies and still <laughs> keep around. Yeah, man, the, the British still That's have artifacts. That's why it's free entry. They still have free. Uh, they still have artifacts from Iran. They yeah. never colonized Iran, but they they have artifacts. Yeah, they have stuff from, from everywhere. Yeah. That's that's interesting. Dude, they, they, they owned a third of the world. Of course, they're going to get stuff from places they didn't yeah. even own. A tiny island. Fucking British. Yeah. yeah. They had Navy power, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Getting rid of the Spanish really helped. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. With their te 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 te. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> well, the Spanish, you know, they say te. Sort of like oh yeah, gracias, gracias, yeah. Yeah. de nada, de nada. <laughs> <laughs> Mexicans, you know, they're like, what's with you? Gracias. Well, uh, actually, one of our bigger viewerships of this podcast is in Mexico. There so, you go, yeah. 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 <laughs> the cabron. Uh, yeah, Mexican shout out right here, <laughs> right on. You could totally pass as a Mexican dude. I have, I have been called a Mexican. But I, I was I, <laughs> as an insult or uh, just no, like no, <laughs> no, no. I haven't been called, but I have been. Uh, Donald Trump called me a Mexican <laughs> once. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a Muslim. Donald Trump doesn't have to call me a Mexican. <laughs> Mexican Muslim, man. <laughs> I'm not, I, for the record, I'm not really a Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> I fall under I fall under uh, under that category. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I, I know a lot of Mexicans back in Bratislava. There is a shit ton of them. Yeah, They're really cool people. All right, so. Uh, <laughs> I, let's get back to the plot yeah thank you for <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah 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 taking we're, control yeah, yeah good idea so, so um the siblings were interesting they were yeah Austrian. right yes yeah we yeah. get introduced to austrians not the played by austrians but doing a fairly good yeah austrian accent actually <laughs> they were doing a fairly good austrian a- accent i thought at times it was inconsistent yeah yeah yeah. yeah. It, it would totally turn british <laughs> but again, because it was the 1950s, when was this movie made? 1943 made, I think, 44 release. Release, nice. Yeah. I think it, because it was in the 40s, again, everything can be uh, brought back to evolution of, like, you know, yeah. acting. Yeah, and ADR lines definitely yeah. sound bad. Yeah, for especially sure. Especially from that time. For sure. So, so like, they gather around some people are like right, who, who can who can do the best accents yeah who like, can who can do a fairly good austrian who, accent who can do a fairly good Austrian? we don't accent. have Annie right now so yeah, let's just so. take you and yeah, you yeah and exactly. the english also has to be perfect pretty good yeah. yeah that's the thing like something that they didn't have down back then was that it's not just the accent it's also the vocabulary yeah you don't totally. speak perfect english with an accent yeah <laughs> that's <laughs> true like, yeah with the right intonation with the right everything yeah. perfect yeah just the accent exactly you know? yeah but it was it was fun man like that's the thing it wasn't only the accent that was yeah that was sort of out there they were super austrian <laughs> 
Yeah, it was, it was, <laughs> the, yeah. Like he, I, I should have been tipped off at the beginning when, when we get introduced by them because he, he was way too cool with helping him out. Yeah. Because he was also wanted to find, I guess, the yeah. micro fish. Yeah, I suppose like whenever you want a villain in your story to be a, like whenever you want the people who are watching the movie, the yeah. audience to be shocked, have that shock value when they find out about the villain. First, you got to make him seem yeah. friendly and yeah, yeah, like yeah. likable, right? Yeah, and yeah, then you're no. like, oh, you bitch, I liked you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They shot a different dude. <laughs> yeah. Why? Why? Yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, they they help start helping him out. Yeah. And um, they go to a seance, which is basically just a trap to scare him off. Yes. Which doesn't work because he he's still he's still alive. In, he's st no, they they didn't want to kill him. He at the end he said that he, he, they wanted to put him back into the Mr. Hilfe. Mr. Yes. Hilfe didn't want to kill him. They wanted to to uh, scare him off and that by killing another dude. Like we're gonna not murder him because I like him, but we're gonna murder this random dude. Yeah, when, that was like at that part. It, <laughs> it, 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 is, it was. Yeah, it was, that was hilarious. That was hilarious. Though, I mean, they could have killed him just to just yeah. finish it off. Yeah, that would have made it so if much easier. That's easy. in their arsenal. No, but but they still know. wanted to know where the microfilm was. The microfilm. And he didn't. He didn't tell them. See, I forget. Yeah. I forget about these things. Yeah, yeah, the details. Yeah, it it is it is fairly strongly constructed in the conspiracy. That's there, there, that's. Then then not a lot of holes where like very true. It's it's very well written, I think. That's where I was impressed. Yeah, I thought because it's a 1940s movie, the plot should be shitty. No, man, it was strong. The yeah. plot was strong, and it's I think a few, it, it a was. A few because... episodes back, we covered uh, uh, Casablanca. Yeah, and I was really impressed by it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, so it's some of those old time movies, man. Isn't that weird, man? Yeah. Isn't that weird that when you read it as a novel, you're fucking impressed? Yeah. And then when you see that on the screen, you're like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All they're doing is they're bringing, they're bringing those details into oh. like, a, they're, they're picturizing it. Yeah, right? yeah, They're, yeah, they're yeah. like, you're imagining it. Yeah? yeah. And then you're like, oh, shit, really? Is yeah. this <laughs> what I'm impressed by when I read it as words? <laughs> Um, you were disappointed by the Fifty Shades of Grey movies. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen the, them. The novels are fantastic, man. <laughs> but no, this I think this just shows you. I'm doing air quotes, by the way, all around the world. <laughs> yes, novel. Yes, he's doing air quotes. I, I quote him. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I air quote him. Yeah. But the thing is that this shows you how different visual communication is from uh, verbal communication. And how these two shouldn't always be so, um, like people, people think of the, like, because visual memory, for example, when you, when you read something and when you see something, you remember yeah. them different, right? Oh, yes. But then again, this doesn't, um, devalue e either, you know? Oh, it's no, like no, no, no. It's either of them are like really, really intense in their own way. So yeah. if you want to watch something, like, you know, you can make a movie. Right now, what movies do we like? We like these movies that uh, care to uh, attend to our um, short attention span, right? Mm -hmm. Like you want to watch Transformers where fucking like shit is blowing up everywhere and Dude. robots are fighting and like there's a new scene every six seconds. The thing that made me most angry about the fifth one was that it made more than a billion dollars. Hey man, come on. McDonald's makes more than a billion dollars. Yeah, but day, they, they, <laughs> they sell something that is at least edible. Yes, and their salads are yes, pretty decent. But children, fucking, <laughs> children love colorful shit. They yeah, love that's true. Lo watching no, it was, the screen. Uh, like the the. No, the fourth one. The fourth one actually made a billion dollars. Uh -huh. And that one was so successful because that China shit in there. And like the Chinese went yeah. and saw that movie yeah. like a bunch of times. See, and there's a lot of them. Yeah. So yeah, at yeah. some point. A and lot a lot of them now it. nowadays that have like extra income yeah. <laughs> to spend on movies. <laughs> That's very important. Yeah, well, it is. Yeah. Good economy. But um, either way, what I'm trying to say is that like back in the day, people were fucking patient. You know, they were, um, they would sit down, yeah. watch a movie like they read a book. 
You know, right. but now yes. it's so far, right? From yeah, yeah. what it used to yeah, be. Yeah, that, that would be a 20 minute episode or something of like that. Anything. Now, yeah. With that amount with that amount of content. The simp terms, the yeah. Simpsons would turn this into yeah, a, a, into a, one episode. Yeah, at at the horror Halloween special. Yeah, you know? exactly. That's that's a 20 minute episode. Exactly. Yeah, and that but I didn't feel bored watching no, it. No, me neither. Yeah. And that's I think that's a, a, a bit of a lost art. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, to be honest with you, I am not impressed the same way I'm impressed when I see something new with yeah. a new plot twist. Like recently, I've been watching How to Get Away with Murder with my oh, girlfriend. So good. And it is really great. And like the twists that you ha you see there are not the twists that you regularly see. They still manage after all these years of storytelling and people getting these stories and hearing like. They still manage to keep it original, yeah. you know. But then when you watch that, it's the same as watching like, uh, like looking at hieroglyphs. And when <laughs> yeah. you look at hieroglyphs here, you don't look at it and say, "What a shitty painting." Yeah, <laughs> you look and you say, "Fuck, this happened two thousand years ago. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. the fuck?" Yeah. So when you look at that, and you're like, "Oh shit, that was actually a time of war." Yeah, yeah and yeah. those people managed to make this piece of art. Yeah, exactly. And that's what's impressive, you yeah. know. It's, it's, yeah. So, so after some investigating and shenanigans, I think we can we can wrap up the plot here. For sure. Um, um, we find out that uh, the cake had, as we already mentioned, yeah, uh, yeah. microfilms uh, in it, which it was a were, cover all along. Yeah, and um, um, Stephen Neal, after being interrogated by the police, convinces them to search the bomb site of where where the blind guy got. Yeah. The, pulled the, to shreds yep. and to find the film by after, the Z Germans yeah by the Germans yeah. that's that's just unlucky man <laughs> they should have planned that better like don't bomb yeah. this area the film might be there the film might be there yeah. general yeah what about the film <laughs> yeah. I don't care about the film <laughs> I want them. to bomb the fish and chips plant <laughs> <laughs> Fish and chips plant. Yes, it's the source of power. Yeah. <laughs> Next is the spam center. <laughs> sperm center. No. <laughs> Do they have sperm centers? No, back spam. There? Spam the spam can, the canned meat. Ah, oh, I thought you said sperm center. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, um, okay. They're, uh, they're superior British. <laughs> what is it? A beehive? <laughs> yeah, sperm <he's>, center. <laughs> 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 all right yeah what's next man we got cinematography yeah. or no no, no. <laughs> we, oh, okay, we, okay. let's so all the time it was the nazis who were all behind it they mm -hmm. had they had the seance as basically their meeting point to exchange information yeah um they had a a, a, a high-ranking british official a psychoanalyst yeah who was uh transporting that uh information out of the ministry of home security yep. and um yeah the, the, the re it gets wrapped up basically by by them uh getting chased down by the nazis yeah frau yeah. frau hilfe frau hilfe and the uh, steven neil yeah steven Steve neil, neil get uh, chased by the nazis to the rooftop yeah and we have uh, a cool shootout we have a cool shootout he a bullet missed him yeah. Right, right on the chimney or somewhere yeah, yeah. like that, and uh, so, uh, the the cops arrived and shoot all the Nazis. Yeah, dead. Shoot the Nazis dead again. This Neil guy is just fucking lucky, man. Yeah, so <laughs> lucky. Yeah, the police came and like you know back in the day, it didn't even matter if the hero of the story kills the bad guys. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was just like just sheer luck. Yeah, as it's been. All right, let's move on to our next segment. Sorry, I didn't know oh. you were going to continue with the plot. I mean, that's why I said cinematography. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's fine, man. All right. It's, fine. So. it's very loose. The concept is very loose. Well, Just like I am. <laughs> <laughs> you should do some Kegel training in that case. <laughs> I should. I should. <laughs> I've been thinking about it. Yeah. All right. Let's so. move on to cinematography. Cinematography. Um, so... We start with uh, a clock. Yep. And that clock, uh, like the, I don't know what the pendulum. In the end. I think when he was represent. talking about his wife's death, he oh. was referring how to time slowed down somehow, ah. or ever since he's seen the pendulum, like right slowing. I I I think I that's what I got from it. Yeah. Or, 
Still like, a cool image. Yeah, so have it was fade out cool. clock, and yeah, then the clock, the pendulum reappeared, reappeared at the seance. At the, yeah, 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 yeah. Where it was behind him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and so that's, good. I think, I think that that was very symbolic. I think the whole movie there was a lot of symbolism going on mm -hmm. it was like less details that you would see in a modern movie yeah because but then again, black and white black and, and with definitely black and white but then like even with the kids with the the kid with the gun and the kid right. with the Tommy dog gun. yeah yeah you you want to you want to show like a family sort of environment it's so it's so very obvious everything mm -hmm. and that's not always bad no 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 it it it, it has something picturesque yes like Very much it, so. it's 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 more of a stage at that point at yeah. some points and then it's very real at other yeah. points for example the i thought the the two two cutaways to the air raid where they bombed london yeah that looked pretty cool it especially very good because it was like the the, the explosion from far away and yeah. everything that as that you vision. mentioned the crane shots yeah the crane shots were real like holy shit holding yeah. the camera that steady that steady yeah while angling it at the same time at that at that at that time in 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 movie history or when he was when he was in the asylum and they were showing the guy who was interrogating him and the uh, the camera right. was shaking yes and like you know that's that's him that's, waking up right yeah, from, yeah, yeah, from yeah. his perspective yeah those that are really details good. that are like all right these are like already established yeah. bits of of modern like but you know it is a fritz lang movie yeah, so yeah. having that visual aspect in there makes sense yeah for because sure. because he wants to tell a story not only through the character but, but through, through the, the scenery vision. yeah 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 that's that's interesting that's yeah very and interesting. Uh, oh uh my favorite cinematography point was uh where where <clears throat> mr La uh, mr hilfe switches off the light and he gets shot by his sister uh -huh. and and it turns black uh -huh. then you see the door frame open him going out then the door closes get, it gets dark again then you see a hear hole. the shot yeah. then you hear the shot the hole appears yeah. and uh, th I, I that was that, beautiful that was brilliant yeah that, that's that's great that's great filming like yeah. you know that that was yeah that, that was looked, impressive that looked cool to that would look cool today i yeah. think yeah yeah if yeah. you do this exact same shot the exact same yeah. way yeah. but just with modern cameras and modern special yeah. effects or the even the part with the mirror Oh you know, fuck! That they mirror had, was yeah, damn good. That was, that was great. You know, yeah, these I are was, things. I was really faked out by that mirror. Yeah, <laughs> I was me like, too, Holy man. Fuck, why, yeah, why, yeah, is yeah. It? why is this going on? And yeah. this is a movie made. In how how many years? Like, you know, you didn't have you didn't, four years ago, you didn't have really. digital editing. Yeah, so you would have to just be as creative as you can on your own. Yeah, and then and, you had to like, if you wanted to do something, retouch something, you had to do it frame by frame. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was <laughs> and that was that was cr the cradle of creativity at the time. No, yeah. they did that the, the U.S. You know where they made those sort of movies or the, where was this in the, movie in made? The, yeah, in the forties in the in the in the U.S. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was like you know people people had to be creative to, in order yeah. for their movies. To, and this is how you can see that oh people can still do really impressive stuff without computers and like yeah, you know yeah. special effects and. Yeah. yeah, and make it still visceral and entertaining. Yeah. And we had that the, the play with with light and dark uh -huh. is is very very pertinent in this movie with yeah. the blackout in London mm -hmm. and and the blind guy as well. Yeah, and it was very dark. Yeah. Who, who was actually seeing? So that yep. you have yep. that yep. too. And and uh, what um, what I really liked was uh, the seance uh -huh. where it turned slowly dark. Uh -huh. And then it was just this this circle of of faces, yeah, sitting around, yeah. That I, I just love that moment. Yeah, I, that yeah. just looked really good. Yeah. It's it's funny that you see it and you're like, oh, they're just doing this for suspense, yeah, right. And you're like, for example, the scene where the blind guy is reaching for his uh, cane. Cr cane to yeah. hit him. It's like you're thinking to yourself, well, no one would actually do that. You know, no one would like spend Go that thirty slowly, seconds, yeah. you know, to. But they're creating suspense you know they're, they're like oh th this is gonna happen this is gonna happen yeah. wait for it wait for it wait for it and, and then it actually happens and like it actually don't, happens don't yeah fake you out and it, it still affected me yeah you know you think oh that's a silly way to create suspense but you're like oh shit i'm i'm getting nervous you know <laughs> what's going on is he gonna turn back and see him yeah. like it's silly but it, it works it's, it's also brilliant yeah it's, it's, it works oh so good um then we have some some posters yes that, that all along the film yeah, yeah that 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 actually 
tell a bit of the story as yeah. well. Like we have one where uh, somebody chase is chasing uh, Stephen and he looks out and sees him and he's right next to a poster that says, be on your be guard. On, yeah, be on your guard. Yeah. Oh, that was just... And then the next scene uh, when, when the guy gets on the train. Yeah. And on, on the window. It is, says... What is, um, uh, uh, don't trust the enemy. Or? Yeah, don't trust the enemy. When yeah. when the sister is sitting there in the bunker or somewhere, yeah, or, or, with the with the uh, what is his name? Stephen Neal. Yeah, Stephen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good Which, that you remember the main character's name. <laughs> Steve, yeah, man. Oh, oh, no, I remember it because I was told that I am a bit of a Stephen Neal myself because I came here as a foreigner and stole a Austrian Gen lady, chick. <laughs> <laughs> a hot Austrian chick. Hot Austrian, yeah. 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 So Doing yeah, good man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all, all right. right yeah. I'm all right. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah. Um, so uh, do you have something else about cinematography that that I, it was impressive? With? I was really yeah. impressed. Like I was not expecting to be, because as I told you earlier, I'm not that much into old movies. I've seen a couple in my time, but yeah. it's not something that I go to. But this changed my mind. I'm thinking <laughs> to myself, maybe I should watch more because not 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 to be intellectually impressed or like entertained, yeah. but to generally see how it all started. Yeah, you know where people base the foundation of what is called modern cinema. Mm. You know, yeah. and then you like it because you found a lot of the same elements. You yeah, know? yeah, definitely. even in cinematography. You yeah, know? The, the the structure of how the story went and everything is very very. Um, very much the same. Yeah. 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 We still have a conclusion at the end with a little joke, you know. Yeah. yeah now yeah. Marvel just packs it in as an after credit <laughs> scene, but it's still the same concept at the end, if you yeah. think about it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. But, so let's move on to sound. sound. Yeah. Sound it is. So first of all, the, the, the first thing that I noticed was uh, the air raid. Uh-huh. Like where he... The blind guy was like, hey, I, I hear the machines already coming. Yeah. And then you as the listener hear, try to hear the sound as well. And then it pops up. That was really impressive. And it, yes. it, it carried a lot of um, ominous uh, and a very ominous feeling. Definitely. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. The fact that he predicted it. Uh, and generally, I think... It, Again, with the sounds, it wasn't like you would hear like the regular um, street noise or like, you know, any any sort of regular. Yeah. It was like one person and then the next person. And then if yeah. there was supposed to, if you were supposed to hear a typewriter, you would hear a typewriter. A typewriter yeah. If the you were rain supposed in to the hear, car. Yeah, a rain, if you were supposed to hear a car, if you were supposed like these were very separated. Yeah. Which is not something again that you see nowadays. No, because like, everything it's, it's all in your face and yeah. it's surround sound yeah. and yeah. it just and everything is like the... fading in and fading out. You know, yeah. it's not like recording stop recording there was a yeah. lot of silences but then again that as a, particularly for a movie like this it gives you time to reflect on what you've just seen yeah you know sort of there's like this like you know quiet yeah you have time to actually enjoy both enjoy, aspects yeah, yeah 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 exactly yeah. except for i guess uh, for me at least some of the british characters actually were a bit hard to understand at points yes because they were just <laughs> yes they muffling were, the mo they were voices muffling. Yeah. i don't even know how many of them were actually british were they all British? Uh, that, no, there were a good chunk is British. I, I have to check the IMDb of how yeah. many were actually British, but there's a good yeah. chunk. Of British Generally, people. the language, not just the mumbling, but the language was very odd to me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the language that was spoken back in the day. Oh yeah, but, yeah. Or maybe you can contribute. Old timey newscaster here. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. 1920s newscaster here. We are reporting live from the scene of a murder. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like <laughs> the lady uh, opened the door. One of these maids and. Uh, she she looks at the guy and says, "Who's calling?" Yeah, he's like, "What the fuck? Who's calling? No one's calling. Just knocked on your door, bitch." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's calling? <laughs> See, that's the that's the reaction you would have if, if someone opened the door and said, "Who's yeah. calling to you now, yeah, bitch?" Like, but, what the fuck are you talking or, about? Or, or like yeah, the way they they ordered their sentences, like. Have you a pencil? Or yeah, yeah. Has she a husband? Yeah, or okay. would it be rather inconvenient yeah, to yeah, be yeah. Uh, of, yeah. of your service yeah, uh, today? Yeah. Or maybe you can contribute that to the fact that it was a book. 
and they were yeah, trying to like you know just keep all the dialogue keep in. all the dialogue <laughs> maybe you know i don't know i haven't read the book i i might read the book now yeah actually yeah. this movie actually made me yeah inspired you too yeah made, yeah why not yeah it shouldn't be that big <laughs> <laughs> it's a 500 page book. i could finish it in eight months <laughs> <laughs> if i really concentrate <laughs> oh my god yeah yeah no but um the air raid noise was really cool um i i i there wasn't a lot of music in this one uh-huh no no there weren't no yeah. there was i think at the end of the yeah scene when they were in the car and yeah and everything yeah exactly yeah. i think there was a music there because yeah. it maybe it had the yeah. radio on and then maybe yeah maybe they they faded it faded into the credits or yeah yeah and the beginning yeah the, beginning, the title so. sequence sequence yeah. had a bit of music yeah. but otherwise nah yeah no no it that was, was all right uh, yeah it was great man it was nonetheless it was it was really entertaining yeah, yeah. um all right let's let's move on to best moments so what was your what was your best moment um it's hard <laughs> right well, yeah yeah it is yeah. but i put it down my best moment in my opinion the best moment was the moment that the guy was accused of um uh what i keep forgetting is neil yeah stephen stephen neil yeah stephen neil was accused of murdering that one person in the room mm -hmm. and he was there with the austrian brother yeah and then <laughs> he was like he was like but i can't i can't go it was like the dude was like hey why don't you punch me why don't yeah. you knock me out yeah you know, i was like well i mean for a second it was like and then he was like bam yeah. punches the guy and knocks him the fuck out and he gets said the fuck out. um that this is the weird strangest way i ever thanked somebody <laughs> yes, and then and he then knocks then him the knocks fuck him out, out. <laughs> that was pretty great that was a really good really <laughs> that was i i laughed really hard at yeah that, that was fucking funny <laughs> because Because you could see that the actor is just maintained the comedy of the whole thing. Yeah, well. yeah, and he's so was, like the timing was perfect. It was perfect. It was perfect. <laughs> he didn't wait at yeah. all. He, oh. he was like, "Well, okay, I'll punch you." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that was a real punch. It's a I, stage punch, but yeah. it would have been h hilarious if he like really knocked him out because the, like the, yeah. like he talked to the director like, "I'm I'm I'm gonna really punch him." And he just keep the camera rolling and be like training doing yeah. our lines and uh, like just <laughs> knock the fuck out <laughs> yeah what well, is i think it would be very difficult for him to knock him out with one punch in that position yeah he's that's standing true. like way too close to him. <laughs> <laughs> he did it anyway american you know yeah, yeah he was hey yeah hey, yeah cross yeah. punched him fuck in. yeah yeah the, the he didn't do the, it only once either i think he he knocked someone else out too no uh yeah he had a fight with with him again Mm -hmm. with the brother mm -hmm. and he he overwhelmed him at the end as well yeah like knocked, right. that, knocked the gun he was out a real him. man's man yeah yeah america america, america. 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 all yeah. right that's why he's the hero <laughs> Hoorah. so what was your best uh, um, what was your favorite scene yeah that one was really good like yeah. i really <laughs> loved that one yeah. but i think because of the um the scene in the train is my best moment because it first tells you that something is really really wrong yeah not only in his head but actually yeah. something some some bullshit some real bullshit is going on yeah, yeah. and he's in actual danger yeah and this is more than just oh he's crazy movie yeah yeah, yeah. so there's more to the story yeah. and I, i i thought that that really yeah made me made me watch the movie with m way more attention than i normally pay yeah, to a movie yeah 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 yeah, yeah so I, i i thought that was the best moment mm -hmm. for me mm -hmm. um there there are a lot of great moments in this yeah, one like of course the the knockout is definitely my favorite moment <laughs> next to his cake line at the end <laughs> and the real eggs yeah no that's i i, I agree that was a very very great moment the yeah. moment with the blind dude and it also like adds on to it later because in the beginning you don't know there is a microfilm into it in, in the cake yeah and you're like oh why the fuck did the blind guy start eating the cake like that You know, because instead yeah, of biting he, into it, he, he starts crumbling it with Jesus, his fingers. I you totally know? forgot about that. Yeah. Nice. So yeah. that's the thing. You're like, oh, what the fuck is going on? This guy is acting weird. And then he steals the cake. Yeah. And then later on, you're like, oh, shit. Yeah. Like, you know, and then the Germans killed him. 
<laughs> Accidentally, <laughs> Accidentally again. Or was it? <laughs> or, or was it? Yeah, the, yeah. Uh, V2 rocket just uh, <laughs> happened to ha <laughs> have a homing beacon, which yeah. would have been crazy technology. Again, then. going back to cinema cinematography, yeah. I think that was impressive for for the time. The oh, explosion, explosion of the house, yeah. Yeah, that was a great moment as yeah. well. Yeah. Because <laughs> the other guy didn't have a gun. He didn't have a gun. <laughs> Yeah, so I think, okay, so this feeds perfectly into our secret category. Yeah, all right. And that's <laughs> Stephen Neal, luckiest or unluckiest man in the universe. <laughs> Because that's there's, a, great. there's yeah. an argument to be made yeah. that, as you said, he's the f luckiest motherfucker in the world. But yeah. also... In my opinion, he's the unluckiest motherfucker because yeah. he's stuck in a conspiracy <laughs> ring while after being he re released by n for not killing his wife. Yeah, yeah. That's what happened in reality. Well, I mean, the, I think he's the luckiest person in the world because things like that happen. You get accused of kill <laughs> killing your wife and get sent to a sanitary. You're, you're talking out of experience here, right? <laughs> yes. I had People, four wives. <laughs> this has happened to me more than once. I've been <laughs> and only one of the times I was guilty, all right? The other time was completely bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> and the one where I actually did it, I didn't even get convicted for it. <laughs> so I, I think he's lucky after that, you know, that he actually got to get out of it. So he's a, a, a lucky, unlucky person. Yes. He, Not he, an unlucky, he's an unlucky lucky. person who became lucky. Yeah. Rather than just straight up lucky. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 It's 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 also a kind of, I guess, a, a redemption thing for him. Like, yeah. I'm gonna save the, the I'm gonna save the British from a German invasion <laughs> after I've been imprisoned by them. That, that will show him. <laughs> like the, 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 all the British takeaway from this story is like we shouldn't imprison jo uh, Americans anymore <laughs> in, our, in our asylums for wrongfully killing our our wives, <laughs> our British wives. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know was she British. We we'll we'll never find we out. We never found out. We never knew. Oh, well, maybe, maybe he said. But it maybe, maybe because he was there, he was already. Yeah, yeah, no, implemented that, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. She might have been British. Yeah, or maybe she brought her. Who knows? Yeah, what yeah. is he doing there? No. Yeah, what the fuck, man? What's his job? Yeah, don't we never? Nah, we, we should nitpick at that. Diplomat or uh, or a secret agent? Yeah, double conspiracy. His sequel to Fear Ministry of Fear Let's is make that. Ministry of Fear Two, <laughs> Russian Boogaloo, <laughs> and he's a, a Russian double spy. Yes, yes. Yeah, because we've already done German, and now we have to do Russian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we and can do like a Middle Eastern one. Yeah, and then a, Ch all the, a Chinese one. Yeah, all and the then maybe a North Korean as a TV spin-off. North spin -off. Korean, as Colombia. A spin -off. Yeah. How many enemies does the state? <laughs> Like it's half and half, I yeah, think, at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there are some frenemies, you know, <laughs> strewn in between, and some fuck buddies, you know. Yeah. Which you, fuck buddies. Which you, you know. <laughs> Your frenemies, I'd say Japan would be a frenemy. Yes, definitely. Yeah, yep, yeah. yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, All right. Back, back to reality. All right. So, oops, there goes gravity. Oh uh, wow, you're rhyming. <laughs> no, Fantastic. No. <laughs> bad idea <laughs> bad idea um yeah let's 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 close this bitch up and All go right. to final, final conclusion final co -co 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 conclusion oh that sound would that will sound awesome in, in post i know in post. i know you're yeah. welcome yeah thank you <laughs> <laughs> not everybody of um, every of my co-hosts is so interactive i love well this. you see sir yes maybe you should have me more often yeah <laughs> <laughs> I, w i would love to yeah let's do it um all right I think we already praised this movie. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. I liked it. I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. It was watch your this company movie. as well. Watch this movie. Watch, watch it in good company. Buy the Criterion Collection Edition that I bought. Yeah. The HD one because they remastered it. Uh-huh. And I mean... What's the difference? And It's not from... Like most DVD releases are actually copies from a VHS uh -huh. release. So uh -huh. Uh -huh. the tape is... Like the copying process, you lose a lot of detail, and I think, especially with the small print on the on the on the posters and stuff like that, you can actually read them 
in in the HD version. Yeah. So it looks really nice. It it is it is a really well done remaster in my opinion. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It looks really crisp. The, you you you. It had a cinematic feel again because yeah. that with that four by three format, mm -hmm. you normally think oh TV show, yeah. old TV show, yeah, yeah, yeah. not movie. Yeah, and definitely. but with this one, you actually thought actually, oh yeah, this is a movie. This is a movie. Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I'm not an expert like you. I didn't pay attention to those details. But yeah. <laughs> I, didn't, yeah, I, I, I didn't feel like, oh, shit, I don't understand what's going on because it's an old movie. Yeah. I saw everything that I was supposed to see, and yeah. it was it was good. Self-explanatory. Yes, yeah. exactly. Watch this movie, I guess. For sure, definitely. I right. recommend it. <laughs> All right. All right. Man, your plugs. Where can people find you? All what right. do you have going on in your life? So uh, right now, uh, our crew jokes on you. Uh, is based in uh, Bratislava, Slovakia. Yeah, great show. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, we do regular shows every month. And uh, at the moment in summer, we have a lot of open mics. So if anybody wants to try our open mic stage, they are more than welcome to come on down. Right Just on. have to uh, find our page on Facebook and message it before you do our Link page. In yeah, the yeah. description below. Thank you very much. Yeah, or you can search on Jokes on You. And... Uh, um, we have, uh, as I said, regular shows in Bratislava. And from September, we're going to start our regular shows in Prague, Brno, Bratislava, Vienna, and uh, most probably Poland and Hungary. So nice. just just follow our Facebook page. and Covering uh, all the countries we used to. <laughs> nice. Yes, <laughs> everything we, can, we have borders with. So. <laughs> so, Except for the Polish. <laughs> well, we have Polish shows. We have we have shows in Poland too. Yeah, but Austria doesn't have a oh, with Austria. Poland. No, I'm talking Bratislava, dude. <laughs> we, we were very smart in sandwich <laughs> yes. the Czech Republic and yes, <laughs> <laughs> Slovakia right. in there. So that's it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Great, um, guys. If you uh, are not subscribed yet, uh, find our Facebook page in the link below. Yeah. Um, I am doing some stand up as well. You can yes. find that on my Paul Jacobs website on yeah. facebook yeah the link also in the description below mm -hmm. um yeah till next week when a new episode of ffp is probably coming out definitely i'm i'm on a streak i'm i'm, I'm so regular now i i started eating uh, a lot of fiber now i'm so nice. regular that every week i'm, I'm gonna fart out on you, <laughs> a new episode and it works out great All right. uh, thank you for listening if you if you drop us a like that would be great um and like till it. the next time bye 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 I still don't have an outro cue.